Hey everybody, I'm Stefan Hold, and this is News for Now for Thursday, April 11th. Welcome. First, let's talk about the weather. Tonight it's going to be cloudy, seasonal in the temperatures. Gray skies will be sticking around tomorrow, but the temperatures should climb into the 60s by the afternoon time. Now we will move on to the news, and a student who ripped off a classmate's headscarf during a fight is facing charges. Now police are looking into whether it was a hate crime. This is video of that fight at East Brunswick High School. Officials say it started when two students went for the same seat in a common area on campus. At some point, witnesses say one student pulled off the other student's hijab and screamed anti-Muslim slurs. The school district sent out a letter about the incident and says they want to make sure everyone feels accepted. But one student told us this was not an isolated case. Some people have called me a terrorist and have said that Muslims don't belong because we are all terrorists. The husband accused of killing his estranged wife, Staten Island teacher Janine Camarata, faced a judge today. The Richmond County District Attorney has handed up felony indictments for Michael Camarata and his girlfriend, Aisha Ajia. But the DA hasn't said if they'll be indicted on murder charges. Authorities say Camarata drove to a storage facility to hide his wife's body. They say he did that with a couple's three and seven-year-old children inside the car. In Los Angeles, thousands packed into the Staples Center for rapper Nipsey Hussle's memorial. A letter from former President Obama was read to the crowd, and the speakers of the service included friends, family, and his fiancée, actress Lauren London. The Army has always used to say that you can't possess people, that you experience them. And I'm so honored and blessed that I got to experience such a man. Hustle was shot and killed last month outside of his South LA clothing store. Now to some dramatic video out of New Jersey where a school bus burst into flames. Happened a little after 7 this morning at Middletown High School North. Driver says he was having mechanical problems during his route. The bus started to smoke once it got to school, then caught fire. Everyone on board was able to get off safely. One firefighter, though, was treated for smoke inhalation. Finally, a New Jersey woman is now facing charges after tearing down a neighbor's risque Easter display. Desiree Shepstone is accused of using garden shears to rip down the mannequins dressed as Playboy bunnies on this lawn in Clifton. Now she's charged with criminal mischief. She told us beforehand that she's not sorry for doing it. And the neighbor who put the whole display together? Well, he says he plans to put it back up. That's all for News for Now. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in.